Hey friends, how you doing this morning? So I wanted to have a question. It actually came from a, a real estate meetup that I was at and I was asked this and I wanted to kind of put it on video just so everyone could see it. And that was basically the question was, is, um, you know, what's the hardest part about earning financial freedom? You know, sort of think about that question. There's so many things that go into that. And, um, you know, I wanted to address it and again, put it on video, but first off, let's define what I took financial freedom to mean, uh, just so we have that, that definition. And then we can talk about the hardest part to do that. So financial freedom for me essentially means, you know, you have a set of bills, uh, that are due during the month and sometime over that month you earn, um, you know, what's often called passive income to, to pay those. It doesn't mean you have a fancy lifestyle to use what Gary Vee talks about. It's not about being fancy. It's not about the cars. Uh, it's not about the vacations or the watches. It's not even about unit count, right? It's simply the ability to have options. An amazing thing happens when you have options. Uh, you can, you can choose how to spend your time um, going forward. So, so that's what I mean by financial freedom, or at least that's what I took it to mean when I was asked that question. So, you know, the hardest part about financial freedom, you know, sort of earning that, and again, I only can talk about our experience, was really it was sacrificing for 15 years, right? I've talked about it many times. I spent my 20s wasting them. Uh, we lived uh, paycheck to paycheck, uh, even though we had okay income. And we were, we were fooling ourselves, right? We were not, you know, in our 20s, we were not doing anything that would set us up for the future. That all changed uh, on the 30th birthday when we realized that, uh, you know, we didn't want to have to do that for the rest of our lives. And uh, we started this journey. So what I mean by sacrifice is it's easy to start, right? You can, you, that, that first week, month, year, whatever it is, you know, you, you start living below your means, you start saving. But a funny thing happens is, I don't know what it is, I'll call it financial freedom tests you. Because think about it, right? From 30 to 45, uh, I don't know, let's say your income triples or maybe doubles, I don't know. Uh, but let's just say it does. And let's say that, you know, as you're buying assets, you're starting to feel richer, right? That house you bought is worth 20 grand more. Maybe it's worth 25 grand more. You can go to the bank and refi out and get this tax-free money. Wow, wouldn't that 20 grand really, wouldn't that buy a new car or take a once-in-a-lifetime vacation? And then, oh, by the way, right? Not only are your incomes rising around you, but your friends, your close friends and family, they're starting to show off, right? They move from a, an apartment to a house. Maybe they go from an apartment to a condo, a condo to a house. Maybe they go from a house to a nicer house. Maybe they go from a Honda to a BMW to a Mercedes. I don't know. But you could see around you that people are showing off. And again, you're on this cycle of sacrifice and living below your means. And I can tell you it's hard. It's, it's hard to, you know, go from living on, you know, spending 100% of your income to spending 50% of your income is hard. Going to that third um, party about uh, a housewarming party, about the new house in the great school district, it's hard. You know, having your friends roll up in the latest, greatest whiz-bang car, hard. But how bad do you want it? Right? Are you willing to sacrifice for 10 and shoot, we did it for 15 years? That's hard. And to stay consistent and to really have fun with it, right? After a while, it became fun, right? We would go to these parties and events and we would, you know, we would do the nice thing and shake hands and, you know, oh, great, and take the pictures. But then we'd get in the car and go, oh my God, right? Their new mortgage payment is X, their property tax is Y, their insurance is Z. And nope, we're still, we're still in that same condo we bought way back when in 99. So again, the hardest part 
of being financially free is being consistent, consistently sacrificing, realizing it doesn't feel good. It will test you. Your income will go up and it will test you. Your friends will test you, not out of a mean way, but they will show off and they will show you what they got and what they're comfortable spending. And, you know, it's hard. For 15 years, I wasn't sure this would work. Right. But now we're two years into this, both of us being retired. And, you know, we can go anywhere we want. We could, you know, we can pitch in and help somebody if they need help during the week, which is really flexible and nice. And again, it's, it's a nice place to be now. It's, it's, it's worth it. But again, people, you don't realize how hard it is to sacrifice for 10 to 15 years. Right? Can you do it? Can you and your significant other do it? Because I promise you, your income will go up, your assets will go up, and you'll have plenty of opportunities to do stupid things. We didn't. We didn't upgrade the kitchen. Our kitchen was the same kitchen from the, from the base model we bought in 99 when we couldn't afford it. Our cars were 10 years old. Um, you know, it's, it's tough, but it, it can work. But so when you ask and you, you sort of see somebody who made it, realize the time commitment and then how many times they said no to something. We denied ourselves for 15 years. So when you think about it, that's, that's the hardest part, right? All this other stuff, you know, finding and leveraging and financing, and th that's nothing compared to sacrificing for 15 years. So that's the hardest part. I hope that makes sense. Let me know what you think in the comments before, below. Do me a favor. I don't do this enough. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, send it to your friends. Anybody out there looking at uh, real estate investing or being financially free, do me a favor, forward this onto your networks. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Take care.